everyone hope you all are doing good i am anjana from learnohub the free learning platform where you can study math science and ssc absolutely free at learnohub.com in today's class we are going to discuss icsc class 9 maths chapter 5 factorization we'll be studying the final method of factorization the sum or difference of two cubes also we'll be solving questions from exercise 5d and exercise 5e Are you all ready with your pen and papers? Let's begin. Next method of factorization is sum and difference of two cubes. What is a plus b whole cube? A plus b whole cube is equal to a plus b into a square plus two ab plus b square. Yes, which is equal to. A into a square a cube plus a into two ab two a square b a into b square a b square plus b into a square a square b b into two ab which is two ab square plus b into b square b cube which is equal to a cube plus three a square b. Plus three a b square plus b cube, or this is equal to a cube plus. Here you can see three a square b and three a b square. Three a b is common. Taking out three a b, then you will be having a plus b inside the brackets plus b cube. Okay. So to get the form for a cube plus b cube. That is the sum of two cubes. Okay, a cube plus b cube. What do we get? A cube plus b cube will be equal to a plus b whole cube minus three ab into a plus b. Okay. Now you can see a plus b is common. Taking out a plus b, what is remaining? You will be having a plus b whole square minus. From here, this part we have three ab. Which is equal to a plus b is common. What is a plus b whole square? A square plus two ab plus b square minus three ab, which becomes a plus b into a square two ab minus three ab is minus ab plus b square. Okay, so the factors of a cube. Plus b cube r, a plus b and a square minus a b plus b square. So if you are given some value for a and some value for b, let's say a is equal to three and b is equal to two, then you can use this to find the factors. Okay, so this is how you will be finding the factors. Let's take a is equal to two, b is equal to Three, okay. Then two cube plus three cube will be equal to two plus three into two square minus two into three plus three square, okay, which is equal to two plus three is five, okay. Two square is four minus two into three. Two into three is six. Plus three square nine, which is equal to five into four minus six minus two minus two plus nine minus two plus nine is seven. Okay, so what is two cube plus three cube? Two cube plus three cube is equal to five into seven. Okay, so five and seven are the factors. Next, we know a minus b whole cube is equal to a minus b into A minus b whole square, which is equal to a minus b into a square minus two ab plus b square. Removing the brackets and multiplying, a into a square a cube minus two a square b plus a b square minus a square b minus of minus plus two a b square minus b. Into b square is b cube, okay, which is equal to a cube 
minus 2 a square b minus a square b which is minus 3 a square b plus a b square plus 2 a b square is 3 a b square minus b cube which is equal to this can be written as a cube minus b cube here we have 3 a square b and 3 a b square okay so i am taking out minus of 3 a b remaining will be having a minus b okay so a minus b whole cube is equal to a cube minus b cube minus 3 a b into a minus b so what is the difference of two cubes that is a cube minus b cube a cube minus b cube will be equal to a minus b whole cube plus 3 a b into a minus b okay this is a cube minus b cube a cube minus b cube is equal to here you can see a minus b is common taking out the common factor a minus b remaining we are having a minus b whole square plus 3 a b which is equal to a minus b into a minus b whole square what do we get a square minus 2 a b plus b square plus 3 a b which is equal to a minus b into a square minus 2 a b plus 3 a b which is plus a b plus b square okay a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square so the factors of a cube minus b cube are a minus b and a square plus a b plus b square clear for example if you are having a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 2 okay 3 cube minus 2 cube we need to find first we need to get a minus b which is equal to 3 minus 2 then we need to find a square plus a b plus b square 3 square plus 3 into 2 plus 2 square which is equal to 3 minus 2 that is 1 into 3 square 9 plus 3 into 2 that is 6 plus 2 square 4 how much do we get? We will be getting 19 into 1. Okay. 3 cube minus 2 cube. Just let us check this. What is 3 cube? 3 cube is 27 minus 2 cube is 8. You will be getting 19. Okay. So, you can easily find what this is. And the factors are here. 19 is a prime number. 1 and 19 are the required factors. Let us take an example. Factorize a cube plus 27b cube. Here... This is of the form a cube plus b cube form which is equal to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square. Here you can see in place of b we have this is 27 b cube. In place of b cube it is 27 b cube. What is 27? 27 is equal to 3 cube. So this can be written as a cube plus 27 b cube will be equal to a cube plus 27 is 3 cube b whole cube okay so a cube plus 3 b whole cube will be equal to a plus b that is a plus 3 b in place of b here it is 3 b okay then a square minus a b here a and in place of b we have 3 b plus b square 3b square which is equal to a plus 3b into a square minus 3ab plus what is 3 square 3 square is 9 so 9b square okay now the next one 16a raised to 4 plus 54a what is 16 when we take the prime factorization of 16, we know it is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. Okay, that is 2 raised to 4. What about 54? 54 is equal to 2 into 3 into 3 into 3. Okay, here this is 2 raised to 4 and this is 2 into 3 cube. This can be written as 2 into 2 cube. Okay, now 2 is common, 2 can be taken out. So, here 2 is common and A is common. So, 2 is 
so taking out 2a then we will be having remaining 8a cube plus this is 27 27 is 3 cube yes so this can be written as 2a into 8a cube plus 3 cube or 2a into what is 8 8 is 2 cube right so this is 2a cube plus 3 cube which is equal to 2a is one factor okay now we have a cube plus b cube form a plus b that is 2a plus 3 into a square 2a square minus a b 2a into 3 plus b square 3 square which is equal to 2a is the first factor 2a plus 3 is the second factor third factor 2 square 4 a square minus 6 a plus 3 square 9 so these are the three factors clear next factorize 125 a cube plus 1 by 8 what is 125 125 when you take the prime factorization 5 into 5 into 5 okay what about 1 by 8 1 by 8 is 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 okay now this can be written as 125 a cube is 5 a whole cube plus 1 by 2 cube okay 1 by 8 is 1 by 2 cube this is of the form a cube plus b cube which is equal to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square now substitute what is in the place of a in place of a we have 5 a so 5 a cube plus in place of b we have 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 cube will be equal to a plus b that is 5 a plus 1 by 2 into a square 5 a square minus 5 a into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 square which is equal to 5a plus 1 by 2 into 5a square is 25a square minus 5a divided by 2 plus 1 by 2 square is 1 by 4. Okay, so these are the two factors. Next one, a cube plus b cube plus a plus b. Now what can be done? This a cube plus b cube we know will be equal to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square plus we have a plus b here. Okay. Now when you take these two terms you can see a plus b is common. So taking the common, common factor outside a plus b is taken out remaining a square minus a b plus b square plus 1. Okay, when a plus b is taken out, you will be getting 1. So, these are the two factors. Clear? Second example, show that 15 cube minus 8 cube is divisible by 7. When do we say a number is divisible by a given number? For example, 12 divisible by 3. Is it possible? Which means 12 should be expressed in a form that a number into 3 will be giving you 12. Okay, this is what divisible by 3 means. So, divisible by 7 means what? This given number, here we have 15 cube minus 8 cube. Should be able, we should be able to express this as a given number into 7. Then, this will be divisible by 7. Okay, let's see if we can express in this form. Here we have a cube minus b cube form. What is a cube minus b cube? a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square. Okay. Here a is equal to 15 and b is equal to 8. This is equal to 15 cube minus 8 cube is equal to 15 minus 8 into 15 square plus 15 into 8 plus 8 square which is equal to what is 15 minus 8 15 minus 8 is 7 so divisible by 7 yes so here 15 square is 225 plus 
15 into 8. 15 into 8 is 120 plus 8 square is 64. We get 7 into, when you add all this, you will be getting 409. Okay, from here itself, in this step itself, it is clear that the given number can be expressed in the form 7 into a given number. Okay, therefore, we can say 15 cube minus 8 cube is divisible by 7. Understood? Third example, show that 15 cube plus 8 cube is divisible by 23. So, how should we be able to express 15 cube plus 8 cube should be a number into 23. Okay. Here this is of form a cube plus b cube which is equal to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square. Okay. So here we have 15 cube plus 8 cube which is equal to 15 plus 8 into 15 square minus 15 into 8 plus 8 square. Okay. That is equal to 15 plus 8 itself we are getting 23. Okay. 23 into this number 15 square 225 minus 15 into 8. 15 into 8 is 120 plus 64. That is equal to 23 into 225 minus 120. How much do we get? We will be getting 105. 105 plus 64. That is 23 into 169. Okay. So, we are able to express in the form a given number into 23 which means 15 cube plus 8 cube is divisible by 23 okay example 4 factorize x square plus a square minus 1 by a into x minus 1 so here we can write this as x square plus a square by a minus 1 by a into x minus 1. Okay. Removing the brackets and multiplying. Before that this a and the square can be cancelled. You will be having x square plus ax minus x by a minus 1. Okay. Or x square minus x by a plus ax minus 1. Okay. Now what we are going to do is we are going to group here on grouping. And taking the common factor. Here what is the common factor? X is common. Taking out X. Remaining we have X minus 1 by A. Okay. Now here I am going to take A outside. When A is taken out what is remaining? X minus 1 by A. So when do we get 1? 1 can be written as A by A. Okay. So, A is common, A is taken out, then you have X minus 1 by A. Both of these should be same. Okay, for that reason we are going to make this change. Now, X minus 1 by A is common, taking out X minus 1 by A, remaining we have X plus A. X minus 1 by A into X plus A. Clear? So, these are the factors. Fifth example, factorize x raised to 4 plus y raised to 4 minus 23 x square y square. So, here we have x raised to 4 and y raised to 4. So, if you are having 2 x square y square, then you can express it in the form a plus b whole square. So, what I am going to do is x raised to 4 plus y raised to 4. I am adding 2 x square y square. When I add x square y, 2 x square y square, I need to subtract it as well. So, minus 2 x square y square minus 23 x square y square. Okay. Now, here this part when you check you have x raised to 4. x raised to 4 can be written as x square the whole square. y raised to 4 is y square the whole square plus 2 into x square into y square. So, this is of the form a square plus b square plus 2ab. Okay. And remaining we are having 2x square y square minus 23x square y square. Minus minus. So, we can add them. 
you will be getting 25 x square y square. Okay. So, this part becomes x square plus y square the whole square and this part here we have 25, 25 we know is 5 square. So, 5 x y whole square. Okay. Now, we have the form a square minus b square. What is a square minus b square factorization? We know this factors will be a plus b and a minus b. Okay. So, here we have in place of a x square plus y square and in place of b we have 5 x y. So, this becomes x square plus y square the whole square minus 5 x y whole square will be equal to x square plus y square plus 5 x y into x square plus y square minus 5 x y. Okay. So, these are the factors. Example 6 factorize a cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus 2 b cube. So, here we are having a cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus 2 b cube. We have studied a formula a cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus b cube is equal to a plus b whole cube. So, this 2 b cube can be written as b cube plus b cube. Then this part when taken will be equal to a plus b whole cube. So, a plus b whole cube plus b cube. Okay. Now, what we are going to do is, we will take this a plus b as some x. Let a plus b is equal to x. Then we get x cube plus b cube. Okay. This is equal to x cube plus b cube. What is x cube plus b cube? We have a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square. Okay. So, considering this here in place of a we have x and in place of b we have b. So, x cube plus b cube will be equal to x plus b into x square minus x b plus b square. Okay. What is there in place of x? x is equal to a plus b. So, this becomes a plus b plus b into a plus b whole square minus a plus b into b plus b square which is equal to a plus b plus b is a plus 2b. So, one factor is a plus 2b then this can be written as a plus b whole square a square plus 2ab plus b square minus a into b minus b into b that is b square plus b square minus b square plus b square can be cancelled here we have a square plus 2ab plus b square minus ab so which is equal to a plus 2b into a square plus 2ab minus ab becomes plus ab plus b square okay so these are the factors a plus 2b and a square plus ab plus b square. Now, let us solve some problems from exercise 5d. Few problems will be solving in this class and the remaining problems you can solve on your own. Also, you have the DPPs which will be available on the website where you can get more questions and practice more. So, first question, question 1 of exercise 5d, a cube minus 27. We are going to factorize a cube minus 27. So, this is equal to a cube minus, what is 27? 27 prime factorization we get 3 into 3 into 3 3 into 3 9 9 into 3 27 okay so this is 3 cube now this is of form a cube minus b cube which is equal to a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square here in place of a we have a in place of b we have 3 so this becomes a cube minus 3 cube will be equal to a minus 3 into a square plus a into 3 plus 3 square which is equal to a minus 3 into a square plus 3a plus what is 3 square? 3 square is equal to 9. 
So the factors are a minus 3 and a square plus 3a plus 9. Clear? Understood? Question number 4 of exercise 5D. A raised to 6 plus 27B cube. We know to find, we know to factorize when we have A cube plus B cube or A cube minus B cube form. If it is A cube plus B cube, then the factors can be determined A plus B into A square minus AB plus B square. And if it is A cube minus B cube, then the factors can be determined A minus B into A square plus AB plus B square. Okay, here you can see plus sign between, but we have A raised to 6 plus 27B cube. How can I write A raised to 6? I have to express it in the form of a cube. How can I write? What is A raised to 6? A raised to 6 can be written as A square whole cube. So 2 into 3 is 6, A square whole cube. So this becomes A square whole cube plus 27 is equal to 3 cube. Okay. So 3 cube B cube. That is 3 B whole cube. Now we got the form A cube plus B cube form. Here in place of A we have A square and in place of B we have 3 B. So this becomes equal to A plus B. That is A square plus 3 B into A square. A square is here we have square, again the square should come, okay. In place of A, here we have already A square, okay. Minus AB, A square into 3B. In place of B, we have 3B plus B square, that is 3B square, which is equal to A square plus 3B is one factor and the other factor, A square, the whole square is A raised to 4, Minus 3a square b plus 3 square is 9b square. Okay. So, these are the factors. Clear? Question number 5 of exercise 5d. 3x raised to 7y minus 81x raised to 4y raised to 4. We have to get the form a cube minus b cube. So, a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b into a square plus AB plus B square. So, how we can express this given expression in the form A cube minus B cube. So, first we have 3x raised to 7y. Then we have 81x raised to 4y raised to 4. Okay. So, what is 81? 81 is equal to 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. 3 3 is a 9, 9 3 is a 27, 27 3 is a 81 or 3 raised to 4. Okay. So, this can be written as 3 into 3 cube. Hmm. Now, we have x raised to 7. x raised to 7. How can you write x raised to 7? x raised to 7 will be equal to. We need it in the form of a cube. Okay. So, x square whole cube will be equal to x raised to 6. To get x raised to 7, you need one more x. So, x into x square whole cube is okay. This becomes 3 into x into x square whole cube into y minus 81 is 3 into 3 cube into x raised to 4, y raised to 4. So, we don't need this x raised to 4 and y raised to 4. We need only x cube and y cube. Okay. So, common things can be taken out. So, here I can take out this 3. Okay. x and y can be taken. x and y taken out. From here, when x and y comes out, you will be having x cube, y cube. Okay. Remaining, what do we have? We have x square whole cube minus x cube, y cube and 3 cube. Okay. 3xy is one factor. So, this is now of the form a cube minus b cube. Yes. This x square whole cube minus 3xy whole cube which is equal to 3xy 
into a minus b, a minus b. Here in place of a we have x square. So x square minus b is 3xy. a square that is x square the whole square plus ab x square into 3xy plus b square 3xy whole square which is equal to 3xy into x square minus 3xy into x square the whole square is x raised to 4 plus 3x cube y plus 9x square y square. Okay. So, we have 3 factors 3xy x square minus 3xy x raised to 4 plus 3x cube y plus 9x square y square. Clear? So, these are the factors. Question number 9 of exercise 5D x minus y whole cube minus 8x cube. So, how can you write this? This can be written as x minus y whole cube minus 2x whole cube. 2 cube is 8. Okay, now this is of the form a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square which is equal to. So, here in place of a we have x minus y and in place of b we have 2x. Okay, so x minus y minus 2x into x minus y whole square plus x minus y into 2x plus 2x whole square which is equal to x minus 2x is minus x minus x minus y into what is x minus y whole square x square minus 2xy plus y square plus here we have 2x into x which is 2x square then minus 2xy plus 4x square which is equal to minus x minus y into here we have x square 2x square and 4x square total 7x square minus 2xy minus 2xy minus 4xy then we have a y square plus y square so the factors are minus x minus y or this can be written as minus of x plus y into 7x square minus 4xy plus y square so minus 1 is also a factor minus then x plus y 7x square minus 4xy plus y square these are the factors okay question 10 of exercise 5d 8a cube by 27 minus b cube by 8 so here we have 27 and 8 27 we know is equal to 3 cube and 8 is 2 cube so 8a cube by 27 minus b cube by 8 can be written as 2 cube a cube divided by 3 cube minus b cube divided by 2 cube which is equal to 2a by 3 whole cube minus b by 2 whole cube. Now this is of the form a cube minus b cube which is equal to a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square. 8a cube by 27 minus b cube by 8 will be equal to 2a by 3 minus b by 2 into a square in place of a we have 2a by 3. So, 2a by 3 square plus 2a by 3 into b by 2 plus b square plus b by 2 whole square which is equal to so the first factor is 2a by 3 minus b by 2 ok 2a by 3 whole square will be 4a square by 9 plus here we have a 2 here in the denominator we have a 2 so this becomes ab divided by 3 plus b square by 4 so these are the factors First factor 2a by 3 minus b by 2 and the second factor 4a square by 9 plus ab by 3 plus b square divided by 4. 
Understood? Next question 13 of exercise 5D. A cube minus 27B cube plus 2A square B minus 6AB square. So here we have A cube 27. What is 27? 27 is 3 cube. So 3B whole cube plus 2A square B minus 6ab square. So this can be written as a cube minus 3b cube plus here what is common? 2 is common, a is common and b is common. Remaining what do we have? When 2ab is taken out you will be having a a here. Okay. When 2ab is taken out you will be having 3b here. Okay. 3b into 2ab is 6ab square. Okay. Now, this is of the form a cube minus b cube. So, it can be written as a minus b. Here, b is 3b into a square plus a into 3b plus b square, 3b whole square plus this one that is 2ab into a minus 3b. Okay. Here, you can see a minus 3b is common in both the terms which can be taken out a minus 3b into this part we have a square plus 3ab plus 3b whole square which is 9b square plus here remaining we have 2ab when a minus 3b is taken out which is equal to a minus 3b into a square plus 3ab plus 2ab which is plus 5ab plus 9b square. Okay. So, the factors are a minus 3b and a square plus 5ab plus 9b square. Clear? Question 17 of exercise 5d. 1029 minus 3x cube. So, how can you write 1029? We'll write the prime factorization of 1029. 1029 is equal to 3 into 7 into 7 into 7. So, 7 into 7 is 49 and 49 into 7 is 343. 343 into 3 you will be getting 1029. So, here you have 3 into 7 cube minus 3 x cube. Now, 3 is common. 3 can be taken out. Remaining we have 7 cube minus x cube. 7 cube minus x cube is of the form a cube minus b cube which is equal to a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square. Okay. So, here in place of a we have 7 in place of b we have x. So, this is equal to 3 into a minus b that is 7 minus x into 7 square plus 7 into x plus x square. Okay, which is equal to 3 into 7 minus x into 7 square is 49 plus 7x plus x square. Okay, so the factors are 3, 7 minus x and 49 plus 7x plus x square. Clear? Next question 18 of exercise 5D show that 13 cube minus 5 cube is divisible by 8. So, we know how to do this. We have done an example. Okay. So, here we have 13 cube minus 5 cube. We have to find if it is divisible by 8. Which means we should be able to express this as a number into 8. Okay. Now, a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square. Okay. So, here in place of a we have 13 and in place of b we have 5. So, this becomes equal to 13 cube minus 5 cube will be equal to 13 minus 5 into 13 square plus 13 into 5 plus 5 square. Okay. Which is equal to 13 minus 5. 13 minus 5 you will be getting 8. Okay. 13 square. 13 square is 169. 13 into 5 is 65 plus 5 square 25 which is equal to 8 into 65 plus 25. How much do we get? You will be getting 90. 
90 plus 169 that is equal to 8 into 169 plus 90 is 259. So, 8 into 259. We are able to express it as 8 into a given number. Okay. So, 8 into a number. Therefore, we can say that 13 cube minus 5 cube is divisible by 8. Okay. Actually, we don't need to find this. Without finding itself, we will understand it is divisible by 8. Why? Because we are able to express this number as 8 into some number. Okay. Now, let us solve problems from exercise 5e. Question 1 of exercise 5e. x square plus 1 by 4x square plus 1 minus 7x minus 7 by 2x. So, here we have x square plus 1 by 4x square plus 1 minus 7x minus 7 by 2x. Okay, so this can be written as x square plus 1 by 4x square is 2x whole square. Here we have a 1. So this part I can make in the form a plus b whole square. Okay, for that this part should be 2ab. I should make this 1 to the form 2ab. So plus 2 into in place of a we have x in place of b we have 1 by 2x okay 1 by 2x so when you cancel this 2 and x you will be getting 1 so this 1 can be expressed as 2x into 1 by 2x okay remaining we have minus 7x minus 7 by 2x okay now a square plus 2ab plus b square which is a plus b whole square x plus 1 by 2x whole square. Here we have 7 common. 7 can be taken out. Minus 7 I am taking out. Remaining this part we have x and from this part we have 1 by 2x. So x plus 1 by 2x. Okay. So here you can see x plus 1 by 2x is common. So taking out x plus 1 by 2x. Remaining we have, this is x plus 1 by 2x whole square. Okay, 1x plus 1 by 2x is taken out. You will be having one more. So x plus 1 by 2x minus 7. Okay, which is equal to x plus 1 by 2x into x plus 1 by 2x minus 7. So we have used the method of taking out common factor and we have found the factors. So these two are the factors. Next question 5 of exercise 5e 4x raised to 4 plus 9 y raised to 4 plus 11 x square y square. Okay this can be written as 2x square the whole square plus 3y square the whole square plus 11x square y square. Okay now we have to make some changes to bring this in the form a plus b whole square which is a square plus 2ab plus b square. So here we have in place of a 2x square in place of b we have 3y square. What about this 2ab? What will be the 2ab then? 2ab will be equal to 2 into 2x square into 3y square. Okay. This is 2ab. Now 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 3, 12. You have 12 x square y square. Okay, 12 x square y square. We have 11 x square y square. 11 x square y square can be written as 12 x square y square minus x square y square. You should use this logic. Only then you will be able to solve this. So this is equal to 2 x square the whole square plus 3 y square the whole square plus 11 x square y square is 12 x square y square minus x square y square. Okay. So this 12 x square y square is our 2 a b part. Now this part when taken you will be getting in the form a plus b whole square. So here in place of a we have 2 x square and in place of b we have 3 y square. So 2 x square plus 3 y square the whole square minus x square 
वाई स्क्वायर और टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री वाई स्क्वायर द होल स्क्वायर माइनस दिस इज एक्स वाई होल स्क्वायर नाउ वी गॉट द फॉर्म ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर इन प्लेस ऑफ ए वी हैव टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री वाई स्क्वायर एंड इन प्लेस ऑफ बी वी हैव एक्स वाई दिस इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर इज ए प्लस बी इन टू ए माइनस बी एस ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी इन टू ए माइनस बी इफ वी हैव इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डिफरेंस ऑफ स्क्वायर्स यू कैन फाइंड ए प्लस बी एंड ए माइनस बी ए प्लस बी एंड ए माइनस बी विल बी द टू फैक्टर्स ओके सो हियर इट इज टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री वाई स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स वाई इन टू टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री वाई स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स वाई ओके सो दीज टू आर दी फैक्टर्स क्वेश्चन नाइन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज फाइव ई ए स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री ए इंटू ए स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री ए प्लस सेवन प्लस टेन ओके सो हियर वोट यू आर गोइंग टू डू इज लेट ए स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री ए बी इक्वल टू सम एक्स टू सिंप्लीफाई वी आर डूइंग दिस सो दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज एक्सप्रेशन कैन बी रिटर्न एज एक्स इंटू एक्स प्लस सेवन प्लस टेन विच इज रिमूविंग द ब्रैकेट्स एंड मल्टीप्लाई एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस सेवन एक्स प्लस टेन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू पुट दी स्प्लिटिंग मिडिल टर्म मेथड ओके सम वी शुड बी इक्वल टू सेवन एंड प्रोडक्ट शुड बी इक्वल टू टेन ओके हियर वी हैव सम एंड प्रोडक्ट पॉजिटिव विच मीन्स बोथ द नंबर्स दैट वी चूज विल बी पॉजिटिव ओके सो हियर टू गेट टेन वॉट इज टेन टेन इज इक्वल टू फाइव इंटू टू ओके फाइव इंटू टू वॉट अबाउट सेवन सेवन इज फाइव प्लस टू सो वी कैन स्प्लिट द मिडिल टर्म दैट इज सेवन एक्स एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव एक्स प्लस टू एक्स प्लस टेन नाउ ग्रुपिंग एंड टेकिंग द कॉमन फैक्टर आउटसाइड सो हियर वॉट इज कॉमन एक्स इज कॉमन एक्स टेकन आउट रिमेनिंग वी हैव एक्स प्लस फाइव हियर वॉट इज कॉमन टू इज कॉमन ओके टू इंटू एक्स प्लस टेन इज फाइव इंटू टू टू वेन टेकन आउट वी हैव रिमेनिंग फाइव सो एक्स प्लस फाइव इज कॉमन टेकिंग आउट एक्स प्लस फाइव रिमेनिंग वी हैव एक्स प्लस टू ओके सो वॉट इज एक्स वी हैव टेकन एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री ए सो दिस बिकम्स ए स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री ए प्लस फाइव इन टू ए स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री ए प्लस टू नाउ वी हैव टू चेक इफ फर्दर फैक्ट्राइजेशन इज पॉसिबल फॉर दैट विल हैव टू फाइंड द डिस्क्रिमिनेट दैट इज बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी वैल्यू सो हियर द एक्सप्रेशन इज इन द फॉर्म ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स हियर वी हैव ए ओके सो नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी सो फर्स्ट पार्ट विल टेक a square minus 3a plus 5 if you are getting this discriminant value b square minus 4ac greater than 0 then further factorization will be possible so a square minus 3a plus 5 b square minus 4ac will be equal to so in place of b we have minus 3 so minus 3 whole square minus 4 into a is 1 and c is 5 which is equal to Minus three whole square is nine. Four into five, twenty. We get minus eleven, which is a number that is less than zero. So b square minus four ac is less than zero. Further factorization is not possible. So one factor will be the same. That is a square minus three a plus five. Now let's see if we can factorize this part. That is a square minus three a plus two. Find b square minus 4ac. B square minus 4ac will be equal to minus 3 whole square minus 4 into. In place of a we have 1 and in place of c we have 2, which is equal to minus 3 whole square is 9 minus 4 into. Two four into two is eight. We are getting nine minus eight one, which is a number greater than zero. Therefore, factorization is possible. So let's factorize a square minus three a plus two. Here the sum should be equal to minus three and product should be equal to plus two. 
okay so product is positive either both the numbers are positive or both the numbers are negative since the sum is negative both the numbers should be negative okay so to get 2 we know 2 is 2 into 1 they should be negative so minus 2 into minus 1 so minus 2 plus minus 1 we will be getting minus 3 let us split the middle term we get a square minus 2a minus a plus 2 taking out common factor after grouping a is common a minus 2 minus 1 is taken out a minus 2 so the common factor a minus 2 remaining we have a from here and minus 1 from here so a minus 2 and a minus 1 are the factors so a minus 2 into a minus 1 okay so these three are the factors required factors are a square minus 3a plus 5 a minus 2 and a minus 1 next question 11 of exercise 5e x raised to 4 plus y raised to 4 minus 3 x square y square how can you express this so here again we will bring the form a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square okay this is written as x square the whole square plus y square the whole square minus 3x square y square okay so a we have x square b we have y square we need to find what 2ab can be so 2 into a that is x square b which is y square so 2x square y square but here we have minus 3x square y square so how to change this minus 3x square y square so better it is to take a minus b whole square so when you take a minus b whole square you will be getting here we have a negative sign so we will take a minus b whole square that is a square minus 2ab plus b square okay which is equal to so here we have 2ab okay 2ab will be we need minus 2ab so minus 2 into x square into y square okay we are going to have minus 2 x square y square so here we have minus 3 x square y square which can be written as minus 2 x square y square minus x square y square okay this is equal to x square the whole square plus y square the whole square minus 2 x square y square minus x square y square okay this part can be taken this is of the form a my a square minus 2 a b plus b square so that is equal to x square a minus b whole square minus y square the whole square then you have x square minus y square which is x y whole square now this is a form a square minus b square what is a square minus b square a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b that is difference of squares form okay so this method can be used to factorize this is equal to x square minus y square plus x y into x square minus y square minus x y okay so these two are the required factors clear question 13 of exercise 5e 12 into 3x minus 2y whole square minus 3x plus 2y minus 1 so this can be written as 12 into 3x minus 2y whole square minus sign I am taking out then 3x minus 2y. So here it is plus 2y plus 2y is minus of minus 2y minus 1 which is equal to what we are going to do is this 3x minus 2y can be taken as something okay some variable let us say let a is equal to 3x minus 2y so the expression becomes 12a square minus a minus 1 okay now to factorize we need to do the splitting middle term method so here sum should be equal to minus 1 product should be equal to a into c that is 12 into minus 1 which is equal to minus 12 okay sum minus 1 product minus 12 okay 
product is negative. Product is negative means one number should be negative. Sum is negative, the greater number chosen should be negative. Okay, so what is 12? 12 is equal to 12 into 1, 6 into 2, 4 into 3. Okay, now check the sum. So here the greater number should be negative. Why? Because the sum is negative. Greater numbers negative. Okay, minus 12 plus 1 is minus 11, not possible. Minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4, not possible. We, get, we need to get minus 1. So, what is minus 4 plus 3? Minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1. So, this can be taken. Okay, splitting middle term, we get 12a square minus 4a plus 3a minus 1. Now, taking common outside, 4a is common. Remaining, we have 3a minus 1 here. Only 1 is common, taking out 1, 3a minus 1. So, this is equal to 3a minus 1 into 4a plus 1. So, in the next step, what we have to do? Here we have taken a is equal to 3x minus 2y. So, substituting there, what we get? Which is equal to 3 into 3x minus 2y minus 1 into 4 into 3x minus 2y plus 1 which is equal to 9x minus 6y minus 1 into 12x minus 8y plus 1. So, these are the required two factors of the expression 12 into 3x minus 2y whole square minus 3x plus 2y minus 1. Understood? Here we have the last question for today. Question 19 of exercise 5e. 2 into ab plus cd minus a square minus b square plus c square plus d square. We are going to factorize this. Expression can be written as I am removing the brackets and multiplying. 2ab plus 2cd minus a square minus b square plus c square plus d square. Making some rearrangement. We can write this as c square plus d square plus 2cd, okay. Then minus a square minus b square plus 2ab. We have a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square and a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Now c square plus d square plus 2cd this is of the form a plus b whole square. So this part it becomes c plus d whole square. Okay. Now here we are having minus a square minus b square plus 2ab. We know a square minus 2ab plus b square is a minus b whole square. So to get this what can be done? The negative sign can be taken out. Okay, so taking out negative sign, we will be having a square minus 2ab plus b square. Okay, which is c plus d whole square minus a minus b whole square. a square minus b square form, which is a plus b into a minus b. You will be getting the factors. In place of a, we have c plus d. In place of b, we have a minus b. So, c plus d plus a minus b into c plus d minus a minus of minus b which is plus b. So, these are the factors, required factors. Clear? That is all for today. In today's class, we have discussed the sum and difference of two cubes method of factorization. We have solved questions from exercise 5D and exercise 5E. Hope you all enjoyed the session. I will be back in the next session with a new chapter. Until then, stay tuned to Learn O Hub. Learn O Hub free hai, par best hai. Thank you.